Today, let's explore the oscilloscope and signal generator on the 40 German Marks multimeter. Before using the scope, let's do a quick check. Connect the probe with the alligator clip. Plug the clip into the output port and connect the probe to the analog channel. Set the probe to times 10. Now, set the signal generator to a 3 volt peak to peak square wave at 1K Hz. And hit run. Switch to the oscilloscope page. Press auto. And the waveform should appear. If the square wave isn't flat, Adjust the probe compensation until it looks right. In the oscilloscope menu, tap the left side of the screen to increase the time base and the right side to decrease it. In YT mode, Y axis is voltage, X axis is time. In roll mode, the waveform scrolls from right to left and triggering is disabled. The time base can go from 200 mils up to 50 seconds. When the time base is set below to 100 mils, the scope will automatically switch back to YT mode. The vertical scale sets how much voltage each division represents. Use the right side buttons to adjust it. The waveform will stretch or shrink vertically. With the probe set to times one, the range goes from 10 millivolts per div up to 10 volts per div. Tap the vertical scale menu, and you can also change coupling, probe, and even the channel color. Go to the probe page. You can adjust the attenuation factor from as low as 0.1 times all the way up to 1K time. Press the MF to open the menu. In the display settings, we choose one second persistence to demo the effect. Press MF again. Select Infinite Persistence to see waveform trails. Press the button on the lower right in trigger mode. Select Single Trigger. Now the scope will only capture once when it detects the set trigger condition, then stop sampling. The DM40 offers a bandwidth of 10 megs on a single channel. DM40 detects signals as low as 5 mils peak to peak and still locks onto a 1K Hz square wave. With up to 64K point storage, you can zoom in on waveforms up to 100 times. The four values below are measurement parameters. Press the MF to enter the measurement menu. DM40 supports over 20 measurement parameters. Easily switch between them or use quick keys to clear or reset defaults. Press the bottom right ABS key to open the math menu. Press it again to close. Use the ABS adjust button to pick the function you need. Besides standard absolute value, you also get FFT analysis. The DM40 also has a built-in function generator. It can output sine, square, triangle, and sawtooth waves. Frequency range, 1 Hz to 50 kHz, plus square waves at 100K, 200K, 500K, 1 Meg, to Meg, 5 Meg, and 10 Meg. Here, we set it to 10K, and the scope displays it perfectly. For signals up to 50 kHz, you can set amplitude. For square waves up to 50 kHz, you can also adjust duty cycle. Hit run to toggle output. That's the oscilloscope and signal generator in the DM40. A true 3-in-1 tool for makers and pros.